and welcome to round seven. Uh, what an interesting round six we had. We had Broncos losing their first game of the season. Unfortunately, they did not turn up to play. Um, Raiders just outplayed them from the get-go. Controversial ending. I, I don't think it's... It's hard because the I think the onus is also on the person with the ball, if that makes sense. So if they're it's kind of, it is hard because he's catching the ball and then he kind of moves himself into I guess that vulnerable position and how in the world are you gonna stop a hundred and twenty kilo bloke running full steam ahead, expecting to tackle you while you're standing up and Anything can happen in a split second. But that's okay. Um, literally, Darren Lockyer said the week before, said don't get complacent. And I think that's exactly what happened. The Broncos became complacent, especially Raiders being flogged by the Panthers around before. Uh, but that's okay. Um, overall, I'm quite happy with how my round went in terms of tipping. Uh, just a few teams that should not have won well, the teams that should have won just didn't, um, which is unfortunate. Like Warriors, just I think the few injuries probably uh, probably hurt them. I'm pretty sure that's the Warriors' loss. Um, we'll, we'll figure that in a second. Um, so yeah, um, let's go to round seven. Oh, excuse me, just hiccup. Um, Tigers uh, have the have the buy round, so hopefully they don't lose to to the buy. Um, it will be embarrassing if they lost, um, which gets some points at least, their first points for the season. So, good work, Tigers. You've done it. Alrighty, looking at the ladder, we still had the Broncos sitting pretty up top. Uh, the only team with five wins. Um, and the Panthers are only in second place because they had a bye. Uh, which is why they're there. If not, they would probably be in fifth spot right now. Um, Dolphins. Now, I think they're, at the moment, they are definitely, well, round six, they, they were the team that should have probably lost, considering of the injuries that they've got. Um, but yeah, I, I'm comfortable with with how they are. They've got a superstar of a coach and uh, I'm quite quite happy to jump on the bag bag wagon bandwagon uh if I need to so let's do that uh who else we got any surprises Titans I had a feeling they would win and they did um Knights are still playing much better without Ponga so what in the world happened there it's quite interesting but it is what it is uh, sea Eagles, you will probably see them bottom four at this rate, the way they're playing. Um, Sharks coming off the bye, so they should be nice and fresh, ready to dominate in this week's game. I hope so. Nico Hines is my captain super coach, so I'll be very disappointed if he doesn't perform. Bulldogs hit with another uh, injury hit with Kikau, um, and Josh Adekar, uh doing his ankle, so he's gone long term. Um, kick out might be out for I'm not sure how, but it might be a few weeks. So a few blows to the Bulldogs, which is unfortunate because on paper they do have a good team. Uh, it's, it's just somewhere's not clicking, and I'm I'm not sure where it is. Um, we'll see. Cowboys very surprising that they are the worst Queensland team at this rate. Um, they've got Tai Lungi and I think they've got Nanai back this week. I, Literally just looked at the team list before. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a little overview of the of the ladder. Um, my round six tips, I got five out of eight, bringing my season total to 29 out of 48. Uh, keeping well, well, not well above, but keeping above that, that halfway, um, well, 50% tipping accuracy. Round one and two, I was shocking. Round one, I think I only got three tips, which is not good. Um, so yeah, let's take a look into the, the games for the week. Also, what do you think of the new layout? I kind of just sprite, sprite, spruced, spruced things up with a kind of a different background with what we're working here. 
Um, so if you like it, yeah, nice. Let me know. Alrighty, the first round of the week. As much as I want to go Dolphins, um, I'm going to have to go Rabbitohs for this game. Um, I, I don't know why they booked Suncourt Stadium so many. This will be... Is it? So this is round seven. There has been a game played at Suncorp every round so far. They had the Ed Sheeran concert beforehand, which ruined the uh, field. It's been raining. They also had a union match the night before the Broncos played last week. So this this field was just trash. I saw it watching the Raiders Broncos game and just imagine if there was a big golf club and it was taking divots. That's pretty much what was happening. Just it was just unbelievable. I, c I can't believe they're still playing on the field. They sh I don't understand why the Dolphins, maybe for this game because Dolphins and Rabbitohs, I guess, have a big fan base. Still, gotta they really should have the Dolphin games at in Redcliffe, uh, where they're from. What's the point of having a home field if you're not playing at the home home field? Um, maybe the facilities don't necessarily cater too much um, for an NRL game compared to a Q Cup game. Um, so yeah, don't understand why they're still at Suncorp. Um, but with Ra I'm going Rabbitohs. I just I would love the Dolphins to win, but unfortunately, I feel as though it's it is it is Rabbits. Um, again, Rabbits have just a super superstar team. Um, not necessarily experience. Well, I guess you could say experience-wise, um, is in the Rabbit's favor. But again, same with every other team the Dolphins have faced this year, and they managed to knock them off. So, um, that's that's what you do. That's right. Dolphins beat Cowboys last week. What is wrong with Cowboys at home? Crikey. All right, second game. We've got Sharkies versus the Roosters. Sharks off the bye. Roosters are playing nowhere near where they should be, which is nice if you're if you're non Roosters fan that they're kind of lose well not losing but they're not performing well, and you kind of see it on the field. Yes, they're getting wins, but I, th I feel as though they're scrappy wins. Um. But with Sharks coming off the bye, I've got, I've got to go Sharks. Um, what a Roosters lost last week, so they might bounce back, and they probably will, but Sharks, to me, after last year, I think, even though they haven't played as well this year, I think they will find their mojo um, eventually. Maybe the bye was good for them when they, when they got it. And I think I've said that to pretty much every team so far. That's been on, on the buy. So, yeah. Hopefully it keeps going. Uh, sea Eagles versus Storm. I said it before. Sea Eagles have gone on this weird trend of starting off good and then having a tied game against the Knights and then getting absolutely walloped um, from the Panthers. So, just... They need to figure something out. I don't know what it is. Um, a, a few injuries on their part. Um, which is pretty close, close case, cut and shut type of deal with the, just picking the storm. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be anything more than that, really. Oh, especially with Munster, Munster fullback. How dangerous was he when he played there? I think was it last year when he played fullback. That's just insane. So scary thoughts. Um, prayers with the seals. Uh, we got Warriors Cowboys. I will, with how the Cowboys are playing, I wouldn't be surprised if they win. But I'm going to stick with Warriors. They did lose Martin and Egan. Egan? Wade Egan? I think it was Wade Egan. For some reason I had Eden in my head. Um, which is a loss for both my super coach and for their team. Um... But I, I still believe that they're going to win. They're playing in New Zealand, so they should have the crowd behind them and really rally to 
kind of win against the Cowboys, which is unperforming. Which is probably the biggest surprise out of everyone. It's Cowboys doing that. Uh, Knights v Panthers. Knights, again, playing much better without Ponga. Their superstar of the team. Um, unfortunately, you are versing the Panthers this week. As much as everyone would love Panthers losing, I've got to go Panthers. Uh, that's just what's what in my record with the Knights. Ah, oh, I see what I've done. It's meant to be three wins, two losses, one draw. I totally messed that up, but that's okay. We'll move past that. <clears throat> oh, wow. Something happened to me, and I don't like it. Uh, Titans v. Broncos. Titans, I knew they would win, even though they almost lost, but... Ooh. Anyway, uh, Broncos deserve to lose, but they will bounce back this week. They're playing on a field that is not torn up like... I don't know what can you compare it to, like a golf course being renovated. That's the second golf course golf reference I've made to the Suncorp Stadium. Um, easy, and it's Broncos, and they're my team, so I'm going Broncos purely for that. Uh, Raiders versus Dragons. The Raiders, the big underdogs against the Broncos, which is why I'm going Raiders to back their, their win. Uh, against the dragons up not dragons they started hot when so they had the buy round one and then round two they came out and won convincingly now they're kind of doing a whatever they're doing so i don't think they do it they just haven't found what they're what they're missing um and i think raiders this is where they r will start to uh, uh Anyway, now the last game, as mentioned before, Bulldogs are unfortunately missing players, which is un even more unfortunate. I've got to pick the Eels for this, um, which is very hard. I wish they were still on zero wins. It would be nice. It would be great. Um, but yeah, that that is that is my pick for the last game. All right, I guess I guess that's it. Just a quick recap for the for the round. Uh, Bronco, uh, Broncos. I was looking at the Dolphins, Dolphins, Rabbits, Sharks, Roosters, Sea Eagles, Storm, Warriors, Cowboys, Knights, Panthers, uh, Titans, Broncos, Raiders, Dragons, and Eels versus Bulldogs. Um, I have pretty much picked majority of the home teams which i guess is normal normal for people to kind of pick the home home team home field advantage um but yeah that's that is the quick overview of what we just went through Alrighty, so thank you for coming into round seven who would have thought we'd be still doing this because sometimes start something and then i forget to keep not forget i just get lazy with it um, so we're seven rounds in, 19-ish, 18-ish to go. So hang in there. And then we've, we've still got State of Origin to come, which would be great. And so, yeah, uh, if you made it this far, thank you for listening to me ramble on. Um, if you, if you want to let me know how you're going with your tipping or what team is surprising you so far this season, um, 100%, and one would probably say Dolphins. Um, in terms of the winning and losing, I guess you would go with Eels as much as it would be nice for them to be on zero wins. But that's where we're at. Um, until, until then, enjoy the footy this weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.